Imagine a world where machines not only think, but learn, adapt, and improve faster than we ever imagined. Not in some distant future, but right now, while you watch this video. Artificial intelligence isn't a buzzword anymore, it's a tidal wave that's reshaping industries, economies, and lives. And behind this revolution are a select few companies that are NT, just surviving this, shift they redriving it. These are the AI giants with the potential to dominate the future. And if you're watching this, chances are you're looking for more than just information. You want insight. You want foresight. You want to get ahead before the rest of the world catches on? So stay with me because these aren't just stock picks. They're glimpses into what the future will look like. Let's not waste time. Think about this. In every major technological leap in history, there were key players that rode the wave to unimaginable success. Think of Microsoft during the PC boom. Apple with the smartphone revolution. Amazon with e Today, we're standing at the edge of another seismic shift and this time, it's AI. Now ask yourself, do you want to look back in 10 years wishing you'd acted? Or do you want to position yourself now when things are just heating up? Let's start with the most obvious yet most unstoppable force in the AI space. You probably guessed it, NVIDIA. This company has evolved from a graphics card maker for gamers into the engine room of the AI revolution. Every major AI model, from image generators to chatbots, is trained on NVIDIA G and it s not just about the hardware anymore. NVIDIA has created a software ecosystem that developers rely on to build the future. Their CUDA platform is the standard. Their dominance in the data center space is unmatched. The biggest tech companies, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, they're all buying NVIDIA chips by the truckload. Think about that. AI can't happen without NVIDIA's infrastructure. And as AI adoption grows, NVIDIA's chips are becoming the gold standard. This company isn't just selling tools, it's minting the currency of the AI age. But what makes NVIDIA truly special is how it stays ahead. Every year, they release chips that double the performance of the last generation. And it's not marketing fluff, it's real, measurable breakthroughs in computing power. If you're wondering whether it's too late to invest in NVIDIA, the better question is how big could they still become if AI reaches even half of its potential? Now let us talk about a name you know well, but you may not realize how deeply embedded they are in the AI game. Microsoft. This isn't the Microsoft from the early 2000s. Under Satya Nadella, they've transformed into an AI juggernaut. Their strategic partnership with OpenAIA, the creators of ChatGPT, isn't just a footnote. It's a power move. Microsoft isn't just watching AI evolve, they're steering it. They've embedded AI into their entire software suite. Excel can now analyze your data and give you trends in seconds. Word can summarize your writing. Outlook can draft emails. This is enterprise AI at scale and Microsoft is the gateway. Even more impressive. Their cloud platform, Azure, is now one of the leading platforms where companies are training and deploying their AI models. That means they're getting a slice of every AI project every startup, every innovation. AI is no longer a feature, it's a foundational layer in Microsoft's business model. And because enterprises already trust Microsoft, they're perfectly positioned to deliver AI to the world's biggest companies. Next, we turn to Alphabet, Google's parent company. They've been in the AI game longer than most people even knew what AI was. DeepMind, the AI lab they acquired in 2014, made headlines when its AI beat the world's best Go player. But what really matters today is how Google is putting AI into the hands of billions. Every time you search, every time you speak to Google Assistant, every time you use Google Photos or translate a sign on your travels, AI is working behind the scenes. And now they're rebuilding even more powerful language models that will redefine how we interact with the Internet. But here's what makes Alphabet a standout. They own the data, the infrastructure, and the audience. Their AI doesn't exist in a lab it's embedded in YouTube, Gmail, Maps, Android. This kind of reach is staggering, and their AI chips DPUs power some of the most advanced workloads in their own data centers. This isn't a company experimenting with AI. This is a company rebuilding its entire product line around it. And that's the kind of commitment that creates long-term value. Now let's look at a company that's often compared to NVIDIA. 
Don't underestimate this player. While Nvidia dominates the AI chip market today, AMD is making aggressive moves to catch up and they have a history of X. Their Mi series accelerators are specifically designed for AI and data center workloads, and they've been gaining traction fast. Competition breeds innovation, and AMD is offering high-performance alternatives that are more cost-effective for certain use cases. In a market this massive, there's room for more than one winner. What makes AMD exciting is how hungry they are. Their leadership team is sharp. Their roadmap is ambitious. They're expanding partnerships, investing in R&D, and targeting the same high-growth areas NVIDIA thrives. In and let s not forget, many governments and enterprise clients are looking to diversify away from single vendor reliance. That alone creates a huge opportunity for AMD to become a key player in AI infrastructure. And finally, a dark horse. You might not hear this name as often when people talk about AI, but behind the scenes, they're essential. Broadcom builds the custom chips and networking hardware that data centers rely on. As AI models get bigger and require more compute power, the need for ultra-fast data movement and high-efficiency interconnects becomes critical. That's Broadcom's world. They re already supplying components to the world's biggest tech firms and with the rise of it, demand for their infrastructure solutions is soaring. But Broadcom isn't just a part supplier there, an integrator. They design system-level solutions that are tailored for specific workloads. That means better performance, lower latency, and lower power consumption. As data centers become more specialized for AI, Broadcom's expertise will become even more valuable. They're like the roads and bridges that make AI traffic flow smoothly. You may not see them, but without them, nothing moves. Now, take a step back. Think about what these five companies represent not just in market cap or revenue, but in vision. These are the builders of the AI foundation. They're not chasing trends there, setting them. They're creating the tools, the platforms, and the networks that will define how businesses run, how consumers interact, how decisions are made. And while AI itself can feel abstract, investing in the companies that make it real, that make it function is how you bring the future into your portfolio. These aren't penny stocks or speculative moon. These are companies with track records, revenues, infrastructure, and vision. They're already delivering and they're just getting started. But here's the truth. With opportunity comes noise. I is hyped. Hype. Every company wants to slap AI powered onto their product. That's why your edge as an investor is discernment. You need to look past the marketing and focus on the fundamentals. Who has the infrastructure? Who has the talent? Who has the partnerships? Who can scale? Who can defend their moat when competition rises? Because what we're seeing today is just phase one. The AI story is still being written. Regulation is coming. New models will emerge. Hardware will evolve. Energy costs will play a bigger role. And through it all, only a few will stand tall. So, here's my ask. Don't just be a spectator. Engage. Educate yourself. Go read their earnings reports. Watch how these companies are deploying capital. See where they're hiring. That's where the story unfolds. And if you felt even a flicker of insight during this video, I want you to take that and act on it. Not necessarily by buying, but by learning. By paying attention. Because that's how investors get ahead, not by reacting but by preparing.